Hello everyone and welcome from, to my channel. Welcome to this throne room Tuesday where usually I put something in the throne room soliciting your prayer. And today I want to put in the throne room that I want to know what it is God that's prompting me to do something that is speaking to me, that's sending me dreams and visions and stuff. I want to know that it's God. So I had an experience for the last few days that kind of culminated in me listening to who, excuse me, I thought was God. And so stay with me so you can find out how that worked out. So, all right. My name is Shula Rollins and I am the founder of Shula Ministries Entertainment and Associates, Inc. And on this YouTube, we are Overcomers Anonymous, where we support anyone desiring to overcome anything. We do it with Jesus Christ being a higher power and also what he's accomplished for us on a cross. Therefore, our cleanliness our wholeness, our completeness, the things that we thought were impossible becomes possible with Jesus. We just need to um, be obedient in order to take full advantage of everything that he's offered. We need to be obedient, and in order to be obedient, we need to know his word. And I encourage the King James Version of the Bible, you know, um, and also the Ten Commandments that's in the King James Version, including the fourth commandment where he admonishes us to keep the seventh day Sabbath, Lord. And this right here is binding on us for eternal life as Jesus' conversation with the rich young ruler, okay? In the description next to the title, the arrow, you hit that and you'll find that information with the Sabbath information. And also, if you haven't already become a part of our YouTube family, please do so. It's totally, totally free. And if you see anything you like, remember to give me some thumbs up. Thumbs up say you like the YouTube. It helps me to keep having the confidence to keep putting out more. And it just lets me know um, what you like. So, okay. Um, so, all right. So, recently I've been hearing this voice for the Lord telling me to... Um, go to my youngest daughter's house, who's been upset with me for a couple of days, about a week now. And normally it's like when a person um, is upset with me or whatever, I just wait until they come around, you know, whatever, you know, they get over it and, you know, contact me again. But I was feeling this prompting. Now, I remember another time I had a misunderstanding with a sister, girlfriend, sister, friend. And I said to her on the telephone, I said, you ain't getting rid of me that easily, okay? So what I did was I hopped in my car. I think I had a car at the time. If not, I hopped on the bus or walked or whatever. She didn't live that far. So I bam, bam, bam on her door. Next thing you know, it was me. And I said, see, you ain't getting rid of me. And we talked it out and everything was okay. So, but I had never, ever did that before that or even after that to anybody that I loved, Okay. And so what happened was um, I kept getting these promptings and these promptings and, you know, it was disturbing. It was disturbing because I was like, okay, this could be the devil. And if it's the devil, you know, he wants me to get my feelings hurt. I go over there and she slammed the door in my face or say, mom, I don't want nothing to do with you right now. And blah, 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 whatever the situation was. Okay. Um, you know, I didn't want to be, feel rejected or anything like that. You know, I mean, come on, I'm a human. You know, I'm a mom, I'm a grandma, but I'm a human too, you know? And who wants to feel that hurt from being rejected? Somebody, you know, pushing you away. So, so today as I was getting ready, you know, I was kind of praying and I was like, okay, you know, suppose it ain't God, you know, and it's Satan. And, you know, he wants to just hurt my feelings or whatever. But then it was another voice saying, suppose it is God. You know, he wants to make everything all right, bring y'all up into another level in him. You know what I mean? Um, you know, men things, things to be together. And I had I had heard this little saying that something about, you know, a person is gone away from you to come back forever. And so when I read that, that was like kind of encouraged because, you know, this right here with my daughter being kind of upset with me. So I'm like, what is wrong with people? I mean, why is it that, you know, they expect for you to be because you're a mom or you're an adult or whatever, that you got to be perfect? Why can't people accept that? You know, at times you're going to make mistakes. You know, why can't they just like stay with you, like in spite of it, you know? So I was upset, you know, because I'm saying I stayed with my children. 
you know, it was not anything could ever make me leave my kids. Okay. And so anyway, you know, I was just feeling, I was like, you know, I need to write some poetry about that, but nothing really would come up yet, but it's coming. So, okay. So I said, you know what? I ain't got nothing to lose. So as I was packing up a bag, you know, so that we could have a little meal together and hopefully that she'd open the door. You know, I heard the spirit say, and take her some fruit. And I said, aha, aha, it is you, God. And it was like right in my ear, take her some fruit. And then I was kind of sure, but still I was on the bus and on my way there. The closer I got to the heart, my heart was like, boom, 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 boom. And then I start to pray. I was like, God, you didn't give us the spirit of fear. That, that's not, that didn't come come from you. You know, you've given us a love and a sound mind, you know, that kind of thing, but not fear. So I was just, you know, really praying like to be able to calm down. You know, I'm like, you're in control. You're in control. I never did this before. Not to one of my kids, you know, so, okay. So, okay. So, all right. So a little bit more house maintenance. If you haven't already, um, you know, checked out the other YouTube, please do so. It's the pursuit to Christ. The uh, playlist on both YouTubes. And remember the food. Mm. Finger licking good. That vegan meat alternatives and size non-dairy ice cream and um, and other desserts. Check it out. There are fundraisers to support the nonprofit and also the YouTubes. So please help me out with that. Okay. So, all right. So, so okay. So I gets there and I knocks on the door. So I said, okay, she going to leave me out here like this. So I banged on the door like I was the police. I banged on the door. She opened the door. And I said, I got food for you. So she let me in. And we start to hug and embrace each other, you know, and cry and everything. And so... While I was thinking that negative, and that kept me for days from doing it because I felt the prophets, I think, I think it was last week, like maybe Thursday last week. Yesterday, I tried to do it, and I got a late start and was kind of discouraged yesterday. So I said, you know what, I'm going to get a good night rest and do it first thing in the morning. So I got out a little bit early today, um, you know, to do it. So the Lord bless. So pray for me because... I want to be able to know when it's God leading me. That's important. As a Christian and his daughter, I need to know that it's my God. And I want to hear it in my heart, in my heart, in my mind, and know for sure that it's God. But sometimes we can't be sure. We got to move out. That's what faith is all about. And if we make a mistake, then there's grace. We don't have to worry. Everything will work out for our good. We need not fear even though I was fearful to death. But I gave it to God because I said, God, you didn't give me a spirit of fear. I'm going on. What can happen? That's why I said I ain't got nothing to lose. So, okay, pray for me because I want to know when it's God speaking. And sometimes it's not always in a dream. But even though I was having a lot of dreams about my daughter, I was. I was having dreams almost every time I would close my eyes, I would have a dream. You know, I didn't get any visions, but I did hear God's still small voice today. And I was grateful and it was encouraging. So pray for me. And I know you probably want to, too. No one is God speaking to you. So I'm going to pray, too, because we live in a time where God says basically that his spirit is going to be taken away from the earth. OK, and so we're going to have to be able to rely on the word of God. What we remember, because what helped me was that situation with my girlfriend when I went over there, when I felt like I should go over there. And no, you're not leaving me. We're going to settle this and we're going to move forward. We've been friends too long, you know. So pray for me and I pray for you. Now to him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. I love you. See you in the next YouTube.